morning peeps and welcome it's Kathleen from Cos Creations welcome to the no bra zone number three here in Asheville I am glad you're here we're going to be doing a landscape uh flip cup and swiping and whatever uh whatever the universe tells us to do today our canvas is a uh I don't know what size this is, at 18 by 20 maybe. And our base coat is already down. I apologize once again, I forgot to turn my camera on. This color up here, this yummy color is our slop bucket paint. That's just a bunch of combinations of burnt crimsons and nickel azo golds, maybe some Bordeaux red, maybe a little bit of a, uh, uh, golden fluid golds. I just pick colors at the end of the day or the end of the week that uh, I'm not going to use again um, in the near future and I dump them in my bucket. I stir them up and I keep my fingers crossed that it makes something lovely. Down here is Artist Loft Soft Body Acrylics in the white and that was brushed on. Let me show you the brush I use. I call this my sloppy brush. <laughs> I got it on Amazon. It came in a set of four with uh, different sizes and they're not real expensive and they're gnarly and wonderful and I just love using them to brush my paint on. So I just put a few dots of the Artist Loft Soft Body right out of the bottle and then I just gingerly spread it around and then I squirted a little bit of water on it with my spray bottle and I, um, I, um, you know, spread it a little bit more. I like a thin base coat when I'm doing my flip cups and my swipes because, uh, then I can just add more paint on top of this paint without having to over tilt things or worry about too much paint on my canvas. Um, we've got some yummy colors today, guys, and most of them are leftovers. Let's talk about our beach first, our ocean right here. We have golden fluid acrylics in the iridescent silver. Now, people ask me all the time, oh, Kathleen, you use expensive paints. Well, I don't think they're expensive because you only need a half a teaspoon to make a three ounce cup. So it's all relative. But can you do it with any paint, decor paints, Arteza paints, craft paints? You most certainly can. You don't have to use expensive paints. What's important is your consistency and the pouring medium that you use. I use the fluid paints because it's literally just a little bit of paint about two and a half ounces of my pouring medium, which is 50% Floetrol, 50% Liquitex pouring medium with the black and gray label, and a healthy squirt of GAC 800 in every single one of my paints. And I almost never need to add water to my fluid paints. I have to add water to my two paints or my have heavier body paints. So it's all relative. Right here, I don't have the container to show you because this was the last edit of it. It. That is Deco Art Metallics, and that is their pewter, a very nice color, a little bossy, just like the Deco Art 24 karat gold. Right here, what is that? That is Golden Fluids, and that is their Payne's Gray. This looks like the Payne's Gray, but believe me you, it's not turning into one of my favorite blues. This is Amsterdam Philo Turquoise Blue in the Expert Series. I get my Piggies, I get my Amsterdam paints, I get my Triart paints, I get all of these wonderful paints from Fluid Art Co. I'll put the link in the description box for you guys right here. Also going in our beach, that is Deco Art Satin Enamel, and that is in the pure white. This is mixed just like my fluid paints and my tube paints. This got just a little bit of water because this is thicker. And the Amsterdam Expert Series got 
a little bit of water too. The fluid paints needed absolutely no water. Not sure if I'm going to use this. This is leftover. This is Golden Fluids in their Iridescent Pearl. I generally don't use pearl when I am using a bright white like the Satin Enamel. I think it makes the pearl look a little bit dingy, but it depends on where you place it. Our sky. I have no idea what this color is. I found it hidden. It's a chocolate brown. It's probably a little bit of burnt umber and possibly deco art uh, rich espresso, but it makes a lovely, lovely shade of brown, whatever it is. I'm excited about this color. This was a fun combination for me. That is my favorite piggy. This little piggy in the mango. And after I dispersed that with some Josonia gloss varnish and then added my pouring medium to it, I gave it just a drizzle of the Deco Art Metallics in the 24 karat gold. And it made just a lovely, lovely shade. Love my Triart paints. Here's another one, Triart, and this is their Burnt Crimson, also becoming one of my favorite, favorite paints. And last but not least, this is a little bit of leftover of something, but I added to it Golden Fluids, the Q word, in the Nickel Azo Gold. So what we're going to do is I'm going to layer some cups, dirty pour some cups. I always forget the names of these different methods. Just pour my paint into a cup. The second layer of paint pierces the first layer of paint and uh, you pour it high so it does just that so the colors blend a little bit. Now why do I have a split, um, a split color base coat? I don't want white up in my nice, rich, warm, orangey, coppery, goldy sky. And um, if I put white on this whole canvas and I flip cupped and then I swipe sections of this, that white's going to come up. So that's why I've got the um, slap bucket copperies and oranges on the top. I don't mind the white coming up in my beachy area. So that's why I did a split. Uh, color base coat. Now, real quick, people ask me all the time, why don't you talk through your whole videos? Well, the main reason is, is I hold my breath <laughs> when I'm doing something. And the second reason here in Asheville, my studio space right outside my door is the elevator, as well as the elevator mechanical stuff that keep the elevator going. And about every five to seven minutes, it lets out a roar. <laughs> and I don't want to scare the hell out of you guys. So I promise when I get back to Florida, I'll be a little bit more chatty because that's a nice quiet space there. Guys, thanks for being here. What else? Oh, one cup at a time when I do my flip cups. Why one cup at a time? I do one cup at a time and I pour it one cup at a time. I don't pour three cups. Uh, because by the time you finish with your first cup, that second cup has over blended a little bit too much all those colors. Also, watch how I do my first flip cup and watch how I exit all the excess paint off of my canvas until there's absolutely no movement whatsoever. That way, when I do my second flip cup, that first flip cup composition does not move very much. So um, any other tidbits? Well, I can't think of any, bit, any, but if I do, I will put it uh, in a text box um, um, at the bottom of this video, guys. Uh, what else? I don't know. That's it. Let's put some music on. Let's get busy. <music> Things to 
I got to know you, got to love you. 